of the award commences from this view onwards. It's a platform to give due recognition to the meritorious students of Eastern Ireland belonging to Chang, Kamnungan, Gwanya, Kong, Sangdang, Imkyong, and Dikia. And Dikia tribe. Now we have seven tribes uh, who have proved themselves that we are no lesser to other Nagas and have secured top positions in the HSLC and HSSLC examinations under Nagaland Board of School Education. We are for our great leader, our father, Mango, for his good leadership that he has done for our people. It is only you that we are here this evening. Lord Jesus, remembering has work the family have come to take this very Awards program. Lord, I pray that you bless their family and continue to work for the welfare of Eastern peoples. Lord, thank you for your wonderful blessing, wisdom, and knowledge that you have placed upon our brothers and sisters. It is only you, bless. Continue to bless their life and continue to lead by your Holy Spirit so that, Father, their life will be a blessing to the Eastern people. Lord, I also pray for the organizing committee, the leaders of Eastern peoples. Lord, continue to bless them and give them for us to lead. Make this fair program. It's a prayer that your unknowing power of Holy Spirit or the responsible that you have placed upon them to work and to uplift for our people. Lord Jesus, thank you once again for being here. <coughs> now, since our German General Secretary has Welcome all the uh, Apex body members. I will not, for constraint of time, I will not repeat it. But what I like to say in short is <clears throat> passion for education. Uh, that was my father. And we had constituted this trust, four of us, other, my sister, me, my younger sister and my younger, younger brother and then all of us together along with the grandchildren we had contributed and considered this and then uh, my dad started his education in Chuchu High School it's a long story word a novel but I'll just give a brief about that. And then he did his matriculation in Tunsang. And then those days, in the 60s, the matriculation was not like that. He had to go for his daily wage earning, then come back, study, and then stay in uh, other people's place. But we are always grateful. When my dad was in Tunsang, he used to stay near uh, Ubu Imcha's place. They were a citizen of Tunsang. And if you want to see that place, it's just near our church. The our church is here, Ubu Imbang's house was there. But now, they have all gone back to the village uh, after, living, uh, after living that place. And then, after, gra uh, after his, graduation, uh, his matriculation, he came back to the village. And then, I don't know what inspired him, but the only thing he had uh, I think to get out of the tough life 
It's only rare for our situation. And so, <coughs> he had to walk till Amguri. From Amguri, Jorhat, and Shilong, he reached Shilong. And he did this uh, 11, 12, and then those days, PA, he used to study for two years, and then he did his uh, schooling in St. Edmunds, uh, Shilong. And then my dad used to say that during his studies in St. Edmunds, there was an Irish uh, principal. And then there were only handfuls of Nagas, so there was no, uh, there was no tribal, there was no tribal Ao students union or all this. It was it was not there. It was only Naga students union. And so from there he came back to he appeared his BA graduation in uh, he graduated in 1968 and then he appeared his exam in Fazilali College because. Those days, even Gohadi was under Nihu, Northeast Hills University. It was like that, so he could appear in all the uh, these things. So he appeared there and he graduated. Uh, he entered into politics thinking that maybe he would be able to bring some uh, social changes. But unfortunately, in spite of many setbacks, he was always happy. And so. <coughs> My mother-in-law always used to call him Happy Prince. And later on, later on, uh, he was also a founding member of APCO, that is, All Poem Graduate Organization. It was uh, irrespective, those days, officers or graduates all were clubbed together and it was known as All Poem Graduate Organization. So he was a treasury. Our house was a, it was a treasury, and then it is documented, and if you want to check, cross check the facts, it will be there. So, he had, he used to have a meeting, of course, he used to have a meeting in my house, and then it was on those, one of those occasions. So, okay, we have formed the organization, but what will be our major main objectives? That was one brainstorming the head, and so on. My father suggested that why don't we start a college? So that is where the seed started. Now the Jingli College is performing very well, and then it has been recognized by the government. So his passion for education never ceased, and then he never demanded anything from us. He never told me you be a doctor, you be an officer. No, he, he never told us that. You just study, and if you study, as you go along studying, you will just find what you want to do. So I would like to request the parents present here also, and then even including me. We should not pressure our, pressurize our children that you be this, you be that. No, you just let them study freely. Because some might not be good in maths, but they'll be good in English. Some might not be good in something, but maybe they'll find their passion in music, they'll find their passion in uh, sports. So without education, it's, they will not be able to potentiate their talent. But once you give them good education, they will know in what field they are good and they will, from that strength, from the knowledge that yes, I'm good in that, they will excel. And then, later on, he became the president of Home People's Council and one of the milestone achievement was during his time, Longling was uh, awarded, given the district route. And then, why I say passion for education? We, uh, sometimes I feel that if he had taken that education road, he would have been the Raja Ram Mohan of uh, our Nagaland or Pom. Because there is a scheme in under education, whether it is true or not, I don't know, but there, is, there was a thing under Raja Ram Mohan Roy, who is a famous educationist, who was ancient educationist. So under him, the government used to give library books. And my dad had registered in the education department and then had brought, he used to bring books to the village. And then, so in honor of that, we also, the Yangken Club of, uh, Yangken, Yangken Club is uh, our palm, our colony, we can say. So the club has constructed a library in, uh, known as uh, Waimango Memorial Library in the village. So that the spirit of, his passion for education does not cease. And he was an ENPO president for two terms, and then like our general secretary has said, during his tenure, 
the initiation for the statute has uh, started. And then the passion is still there. But it doesn't mean that if we do today, tomorrow will be. Maybe it's like we have sown the seed and then definitely if we nurture the plant, the tree will grow and someday definitely it bear fruit. Uh, when he felt ill, he was an advisor of ENBO and then not only ENBO officials as such, but across the board from Eastern Nagaland, from ENLU, from ENBO, from all the Eastern Nagaland organizations, women organizations, students organizations, individuals, have helped us immensely. And we also, we thought, our family thought that we also, we should acknowledge the acknowledgement from the people. And then today, uh, this celebration could not have been possible without the achievers. Without you, this function is meaningless, useless. It is because of you that all of us are gathered here. So, as you go on life, like our General Secretary has said, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You just think of that. And this is the first milestone. Now your high school golden age is gone. Now your career building starts. For example, I'll tell you, if I I'm taking a little longer time, please bear with me. When we went for when we went to study for MBBS. We never thought of going for special, uh, specialization. Only in the fifth year, people used to think that uh, I have to go for this surgery, this medicines and all. But now the pressure level has pumped up. When you, now people are joining MBPS and they are started taking coaching for further studies. This is the kind of competitive world you will be living in. But it doesn't mean that you won't be able to do it. If you can do it now, you can do it always. And be thankful to God, never lose focus. And then, whatever you do, wherever you may be, whatever you become, don't forget our ENV family. Uh, and then, in whatever way you can, you should serve. We should all serve our people. That is my humble request to you. And then I especially would like to once again thank gratitude to the ENBO. And then especially uh, I'd like to thank our General Secretary Malang Hom, who has taken all the pains. It's like in the fact
আৰু এটো তো আমি তো এটো পাৰে জব অল মন ধৰি জানিছে মানুহ হানবি ইনলাই কৰে নেকি কৰা তো আমা চেস খানি বিছনাৰ পথ হ'ব চেস খানি কিবা কৰিব নে তেহে তো কৰা তো চেস ট্ৰু পৰাহে তো আমি কিতে মন তে তো দিছি হাবাস চ through the platform of ENPO fully sponsored by the family of uh, late Baba Mangpo for the upcoming gen young generation of Eastern Nagaland. The award committee, I think the award committee desires to in enhance the level of awards uh, even higher in the years to come provided there is a good response fr uh, from the people. So now we have the most important part of the program that is to recognize our successful students who have made themselves within the top 20 in HSLC and HSSLC examinations 2021 in all the streams. So to give away the various categories of awards, I would like to request our president ENPO to kindly come on the stage. Sangyu Chanla Chang, daughter of late J. Asangba Chang and Shirmati Nati Champton of Loksan village under Twin Sang district. She passed her HSLC examination from Holy Angel School, Twin Sang, securing top 9 position with 97%. Uh, she, uh, she said uh, she got her, her admission in Model Higher Secondary School, Kohima, in uh, Science Stream. And in the future, she wants to become a doctor. Miss Sanyu Chanla. <laughs> Next topper we have Miss. Liro Lati Sangdam, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sar Vise Sangdam. She passed her HSLC from St. Paul Higher Secondary School, Dimabo, securing top 11 position with 96.67 percentage. Uh, she, she got her uh, admission in St. John Higher Secondary Residential School, Dimabo, in Science Stream and uh, in BCD Group. Ms. Liro Lati Sangdam. Next, we have Mr. Urban Kamnon Chang, son of Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Chang of Litton Village, under Prince District. He passed out his HSLC from Pilgrim Higher Secondary School, Dimapur, securing top 12th uh, with 96.50%. And uh, uh, he, he got his admission in. Delhi Public School Timabur and he wants to pursue engineering. <laughs> Next we have Miss Yingmai M. Konyak, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Mulem Konyak of Wangti village, Mon district. She passed out her HSLC from St. Mary's School, Mon, securing top 28 <coughs> position with 95.33 percentage. She taught her admission in uh, Pranab Vidya Pit Higher Secondary School, Timabur, in Science Stream, and she wants to become an IS officer.
Next, we have uh, Mr. Ngam Jong J. N. Yanlam, son of Mr. and Mrs. D. J. N. Yanlam of Tamlo village, KKL. He passed out his HSSLC examinations in science stream <coughs> from St. John Higher Secondary Residential School, Timapur, securing top one position with 95.20 percentage. He's preparing for NEET exam. Finally, we have Miss Torila Chamra, daughter of late Juba Yunchungar and Srimadi S. Asangla of Kutur village under Shamadu district. Shamadu or Shamadu. Shamadu. Shamadu, sorry. Uh, she passed out her HSSLC art stream from Mizer Higher Secondary School, Kohima, securing top sixth position with 94.80 percentage of marks. She got admitted in uh, Detsuyo College in Dimapur, in BA in Linguistic Department, and she wants to become a geologian and serve court. Thank you, sir. So, a very, very big congratulations to all the, the successful students. Now we will go to the next program. Why Mongo Trust? Ami Bible letter Purigina Pathana Puriguli Mundase Bible letter Pura Dream Day Our brothers and sisters Achi Award Park and Do Kara Hui Gana Taka Dream Day Ami Blessing Mangi Digana Aro Benedict Shin Dibole Mundase Ami Bible Uriyase, hello, it's a time day. Our brothers and sisters can award these and the park are up with the road request to be asked. Leviticus chapter 26, verses 12 and 13. I will walk among you and be your God, and you will be, you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, so that you would not be their slaves. And I broke the bars of your yoke and made you walk upright with heads held high as free men and women. She saw Kota, so immediate blessing Takibo. Ami Parthana Kriyas. Bear with me, I pray in my own tongue. Chief Kaibo, Ange Abon Kiu Chetan, and Goa.